Hello everyone, welcome back to Explore Electronics. In this video, I will give you the complete solution to the VTU question paper of Basic Electronics and Communication Engineering subject. The exam held on July-August 2022. So this is what the question paper for second semester students. They wrote exam in August 2022. So let us get into each and every question and let us see what actually the answer for that. The first question is on DC power supply. With need diagram explain the working of DC power supply. Also mention the principal components used in each block. This question is asked in the first semester exam also. So this question is very important. Here the block diagram and the components of that need to be explained. This question carries 7 marks. So block diagram will be for 4 to 5 marks and remaining marks will be for explanation. Here you need to uh, explain each and every block here like step down transformer, rectifier, reservoir or smoothing filter and voltage regulator in brief not in detail. The second question is sketch the circuit for each of the following using op-amp amplifiers. So operational amplifier question it is. So differentiator, integrator and inverting amplifier they have given. Here just you need to write the circuit correctly with respect to that you need to write the expression for the output V0 or V out what we say. So here I have given the circuit and the expression. No need to explain how actually we are going to get that as output. Just a circuit and an expression is sufficient for this question. Then the third question is on rectifier, full wave rectifier. Biphase full wave rectifier they have asked. Biphase full wave rectifier in the sense it is center tapped full wave rectifier. Here this is the main circuit and these two circuits need to be written because of the positive half cycle input how circuit behaves and negative half cycle of the input how circuit behaves and you need to explain how, how the current flow will be which diode will be on and which diode is off here. Then mention the advantages of negative feedback in amplifier circuits with relevant equation and diagram explain the concept of negative feedback. Here negative feedback advantages they have asked and then we need to write the equation and diagram for the negative feedback. Here you can see these are the negative feedback amplifier advantages stabilizes the gain increases stability of the circuit like that and the block diagram and representation with respect to the feedback and then you need to write this expression for the overall gain of the amplifier with negative feedback a divided by 1 plus a into beta. This is what the second question this uh, this is asked for 7 marks so advantages will um, advantages for 4 to 5 marks and remaining marks will be for the explanation and the diagram. And then you can see here the next question with suitable circuit diagram explain single stage A stable multi vibrator using operational amplifier. Here is the circuit for the multi vibrator A stable multi vibrator and the related brief explanation you can see here how the working of that will be and also you need to write the waveform uh, that is what the square wave it is going to generate. This is an oscillator output and VUT and VLT expressions you can also write that gives you full marks and the next question is a problem on the oscillator that is first you need to write the condition for sustained oscillation the two condition need to be satisfied that is feedback must be positive and overall loop voltage gain must be equal to 1 and then you need to calculate the oscillation frequency of a three stage ladder network for a three stage ladder network this is the frequency expression we are supposed to use and just you need to hear here what we are supposed to do we are just need to substitute for this C and R they have given C is equal to 10 nano farad and also they have given R is equal to 10 kilo ohm and you need to substitute for C and R and find out F. Here I am not going to solve this F you just substitute this and solve for F and comment below for this video what actually the frequency you are going to get. 
then the, the second module question the third a with neat block diagram explain arrangement of microcontroller system this is the microcontroller system cpu with input output ports and then memory at the top and clock and these are the inputs we can connect and these are the outputs actuators a brief explanation related to each and every component need to be written here for a microcontroller system this carries six marks here wherever diagrams comes you can see three to four marks will be for the diagrams if they are uh, so like this and explanation related to that carries the remaining marks three two or three marks will be for the explanation design three to eight decoder and show its implementation using logic gates show its implementation means you need to write the logical circuit logical circuit means using gates so logical circuit carries the maximum marks here but you need to start answering these digital questions with the block diagram first you need to write the block representation like this for the 3 to 8 decoder then write the truth table and truth table uh, using truth table you can get the expression logical expression can also be written here i have not mentioned you can write the expression then using that expression you can implement using basic gates remember they have asked to implement using basic gates so you are not supposed to use any universal gates and derived gates only not gate and gate and r gate can be used while implementing any digital circuit using basic gates then with the help of truth table explain full adder using logic gates here you can see they have not mentioned which kind of gate you are going to use just they ask you to write the circuit using logic gates in this case you can use xr wherever it is required you can use nand gate also you can use nor gate also with this you can use you can use all basic gates also so you need to read the question carefully in place of this if they have given like basic gates you are supposed to use only and gate or gate and not gate you are not supposed to use these gates now this is the full order block diagram and this is the truth table for that and this is the circuit here you can see this is xr gate and this is and gate three and gates i have used and this is r gate you can use any gate you want write a note on different data types mentioning the bit size and range of values supported here the, da the different data types like unsigned byte signed byte unsigned word signed word and the representation of word will be like this uh, byte will be like this and double word will be like this and you can see the bits number of bits we are going to consider for unsigned signed like that and range of values this is what the question they have asked but while writing this you need to also write what is a byte what is bit and number of uh, bits in the byte word and double word that carries full marks then define by stable with the truth table and logical circuit explain rs by stable here first we need to write the block diagram here also write a block indicating sr by stable and for this you need to write which are all the inputs and which are all the outputs then you can go with the circuit using nor gate or using nand gate and then the truth table for that and here you need to write the explanation related to when s is equal to 0 and r is equal to 0 what is the output q will be 0 this much is not sufficient you need to explain q is equal to 0 means what it is holding its sorry q is equal to q means it is holding its previous state q will not be changed when s is 0 and r is 0 this will be called as hold state or it will be called as previous state like this you need to explain similarly for the next states and z in the sense it is forbidden state or forbidden you can we can also call it as unknown state right so these things you need to write in words then what is multiplexer with the truth table and logic circuit explain 80 to 1 multiplexer first you need to answer for what is multiplexer in the previous question also you can see they have asked to define by stable first you need to define by stable as it is a device consisting of two stage output two stable stages are 0 and 1 and by stable uh, constitutes a simple form of a memory cell this much explanation it carries one marks rest of the answer carries six marks here also what is multiplexer multiplexer is a device it consists of multiple inputs and single output it will be selecting single out 
single input out of multiple inputs it will be also called as a data selector like this you need to write a data selector for multiplexer then true table for 8 is to 1 multiplexer using three select lines then the you need to fill this i1 i2 i3 i4 i5 i6 and then i7 and then you can write the logical circuit for this then compare general purpose system and embedded system there are six to seven comparisons are there for the general purpose and uh, embedded system uh, this question also multiple multiple times they have asked since this is for eight marks you need to write at least uh, six to eight uh, differences then explain different configurations of seven segment led display this is a seven segment led display structure here a b c d e f g represents the leds and this dp represents the dot right there are seven segments here this is the eighth segment and common anode common cathode are the two different configurations they have asked to explain the different configurations itself so one configuration is common anode another configuration is common cathode in common anode all the anodes of the led are connected to vcc this is very important you need to carefully write connect all the anodes to vcc to turn on the particular led we need to pass zero from cathode right that is what common anode here also common cathode in the sense cathode is already connected to ground to turn on the led we need to pass one from anode write a note on classification of embedded systems we can classify embedded systems in different manner there are two different uh, classifications here i have given one is based on the generation first generation second generation third generation fourth generation and again based on the complexity also we can say small scale medium scale and the large scale embedded systems here also you need to explain all these in brief by giving an example for those generation and complexities then define actuator with relevant diagram explain the operation of relay push button and fuse buzzer three questions here uh, uh, means three topics relay push button and fuse buzzer so first we need to write what is actuator actuator in the sense which performs some action means it will be used at the output of an embedded system so this is a transducer which converts electrical signal to corresponding physical action physical action in the sense it can be a motion it can be rotation it can be led it can be display like that and you need to explain what is relay and the different types and also push button how it will works and a fuse buzzer then bring out the differences between risk and sisk and harvard and warneman architectures first risk and sisk need to be answered and then harvard and warneman there are two questions here don't get confused with this and and this and this is separate and this is separate risk and sisk differences this is for six marks remember here this is for six marks and they have asked to write the differences between risk and sisk as well as harvard and one human so this carries three marks for the first question and three marks for the uh, second question so you need to write at least four to five differences for risk and sisk and four to five differences for the one human and harvard architectures one human and harvard architecture differences i have not put here you need to refer to my video so that you can get what is the answer for harvard and one human also bring out the main features of uart and usb uart and usb need to be explained here for six marks again this will be split into three marks and three marks this is the block diagram representing uart device consists of transmitter txd and uh, receiver pin rxd similarly here also txd rxd this transmitter connected to the receiver pin this transmitter pin connected to the receiver pin of other usb uart this is what you need to explain here and then coming to usb also this is the architecture or the structure of usb connections and what are all the pins connected uh, pins present in usb port differential data signaling and number of connections it will support likewise you can explain usb also then describe the block diagram of communication system this is again a very important question asked many times in the communication subject also in basic electronics this is the modern communication system starting from the information source 
to the final destination in between we will be having transducer here also transducer here it is transmitter that is antenna here it is receiver in between we have channel and noise will be added up here remember some students are going to write this noise downwards this is wrong you need to add up noise when it is in the channel so this carries six marks you need to explain the brief um, explanation for each and every blocks here also then explain the following with the help of waveform PAM, PWM, PPM need to be explained using only waveforms. Here waveforms is sufficient, no need to explain how PAM uh, is going to happen, right? So this is the PAM signal, this is PWM signal and this is PPM signal. You need to write this by taking an example of message signal and a carrier pulse like this. Define an antenna and discuss different types of antennas. First, you need to write the definition of antenna. Antenna is a device that converts electromagnetic radiation in space to electrical currents in conductors or vice versa. Electromagnetic radiation to current, current to electromagnetic radiation, transmitter and receiver. So, transmitting and receiving antenna will be there. And types of antenna, since it is again asked for 6 marks, 1 marks will be for the definition and remaining 5 marks will be for the type of antennas. Uh, you can take any of three to four antennas out of these and you can explain in brief by writing the relevant diagram for those. Then explain the different types of radio wave propagation with neat diagram. Here the radio wave propagation uh, may ha happen in three ways means three types of waves we are going to use for the propagation depending on the nature of communication required. So ground or surface wave a space or tropospheric wave and then sky wave here you can see in the diagram uh, you can clearly mention which type of wave is going to be used in a kind of communication like this and how they are going to happen discuss various multiple access techniques used in cellular network multiple access techniques are three one is time division multiple uh, access frequency division and code division multiple axis. So this diagram clearly explains uh, how TDMA works means in this axis you can see this is time here the time slots are going to be allocated here the different frequencies are going to be allocated this in x axis uh, these four five slots are going to be given means this is happening in a different frequencies these are happening in different times these are happening with same time same frequency but different codes this is in uh, this with respect to y axis so this is how we can explain in brief for six marks define sampling theorem nyquist rate and explain aliasing when can happen and also mention aliasing can be avoided so here the sampling definition you need to write the sampling theorem and what is aliasing you need to uh, say when it is going to be occurred and when we how we can avoid this this carries eight marks here we need to write this uh, fs condition also fs should be less than two times the maximum frequency and aliasing, uh, aliasing can be avoided when fs is greater than two into maximum frequency it is for aliasing occurred when it is less than the maximum frequency twice the maximum frequency we can be avoided by keeping the frequency more than two times the maximum frequency carefully we need to write these two and we need to explain in words draw the schematic diagram of cellular telephone system define its basic components this is the block diagram of the cellular telephone system where mobile station connected to base station then base station connected to msc and then different ms uh, mobile uh, stations and base station connected to msc then connected to pstn and a stationary phone here also what is mobile station what is cell what is base station uh, need to be explained in one or two lines of explanation this carries six marks here also diagram is very important it carries three to four marks sometimes if you write diagram clearly and less explanation also you will be getting four to five marks and clear explanation uh, gives you full marks.
bring out the features of fm transmitter and fm receiver in microwave communication system this is the fm transmitter in the microwave communication system you can see here the brief explanation also given and this is the receiver fm receiver of the microwave communication system since this is again asked for 8 marks this will be split it as 4 plus 4 for the transmitter and receiver here diagram carries 2 plus 2 and explanation carries 2 plus 2 explain the optical fiber communication system with block diagram here again this is a block diagram of a communication system when optical fiber is used so optical fiber is the channel here so in between we will be using repeaters and this is again same as a communication uh, what we have seen in the previous questions input information transmitter again op optical source is there and then channel coupler similarly detector and uh, output coupler receiver here the same uh, thing what we have used in the input side this is to be like this and this will be like this and this is a brief explanation what happens in each and every block then last question 10th question that is a write short note on wlan and bluetooth wlan wireless lan is a method of connecting two or more devices together within a single organization using wireless communication method this you need to mention here w stands for wireless that is lan local area network and here is the diagram you can see wirelessly these users are connected to an access point and that is connected to an internet uh, here is the different types of um, uh, standards and a frequency bands and the maximum data rate it is going to uh, support and then bluetooth this is the diagram you can write for bluetooth what is scatternet what is piconet what is um, when we call it as scatternet you can explain and the operating band that bluetooth and how many devices you can connect and what is the distance and how the communication will happen you can explain in brief then draw the architecture of gsm system and explain the important features of it this is the gsm architecture here again mobile station it will be having sim we call it as mobile equipment here carefully you need to make out the differences between um, right, while writing the explanation for mobile station and mobile equipment here you need to add sim with it it is base transceiver system there is a base system controller totally we call it as a base station subsystem at the same um, mobile communication diagram what we seen in the previous question here with some modifications so while reading the gsm architecture you can also refer that explanation and you can relate to these the draw the block diagram showing the basic elements of satellite communication system and briefly explain them this is the block diagram you can also write the relevant block diagram for the satellite communication starting from the ground user terrestrial system earth station to the satellite and from satellite again receiving part to the earth station terrestrial system and the user here you need to explain what is what do you mean by user what is satellite what is terrestrial network and what is earth station in brief so this carries six marks this is what the question paper of uh, second semester exam thank you